Hi guys, Rebecca here. Today is 10-2-2017. Date New Zealand is 10-3-2017. We're going to go over the quakes that happened on 10-2-2017 evening up to midnight and then start into the third. We'll start with 2.0 and then 2.5. 2.0. Two point five was right along here near Gisborne. Next quake is at two point six, which was down here near Sudden. Let's see, I think this no road. Hmm. Go right here then. I'm trying to see what this is here. Huh, can't tell. Next quake is a 2.0. And this was over here in the Cook Strait. Next quake is a 2.2, followed by 2.5. That was 116 kilometers in depth. This was over here. Oops. Near Patea in the South Taranaki Bight area. Next quake is 1.8, followed by a 2.5, which is back over here at Sedden area. And this is Lake Grassmere, and that's a salt mine over there as well. Next quake was a 2.3, which was right next to it. Next quake is a 2.2, which was off land, over here near Sedden area. Next quake is a 2.2 as well, which is also over here in the Sedden area. The next quake was a 1.8, which is just a little further down from the ones that had happened there. Next quake is a 2.3, which happened in Cook Strait. The next quake is a 1.4, followed by a 2.4, which is 146 kilometers in depth, which is also over here in the South Taranaki Bay. Next quake is a 3.1, is 72 kilometers in depth. This was at the other end of the South Island. Ooh. And let's take a look. And that's the North Ford. The next quake was a 2.1 followed by a 2.6 at 101 kilometers in depth. This was over off the end of the North Island, out past White Island. The next quake was a 4.3. This 4.3 happened right off the tip of Sudden. In the Cook Strait area. 
Next quake was a 3.1. This happened back here. And this is near Rapejo volcano. Let's see if we can pull up a picture. This is Desert Road there. Uh, it's not that big, but you can come and look it up on the Google Earth. Next click was a 2.0, followed by a 1.9, followed by a 1.3, followed by a 2.0, a 2.2, a 1.8, 2.6. was back here in the town area. Western Heights. Near Rotora, Ferry Springs, and Westbrook. Let's see where it hit. So it hit in a town area. That's Lake Rotoria. Our next quake was a 3.1. And this is also back here near the sudden area. Next quake was a 2.7. This was down here near Fanfurly. Renfer Renfurly. Next week was zero point nine, followed by a two point three at eighty one kilometers in depth. That's near Wakefield. Next quake was a 2.1 followed by 1.6. And then we'll go into October 3rd. That one starts with a 1.5, a 1.7, a 1.5, and then a 3.7 that was 322 kilometers in depth. Mm. And this was off the end of the North Island. The next quick was a 1.8, followed by a 2.4, followed by a 2.4 that was 145 kilometers in depth. The next quick was a 2.4 that was 123 kilometers in depth.
believe this is a dam. Um, maybe a power place, but I don't see any signs. Wait, let's back up. I think I found a sign. Well, if anybody knows what that is, just mark below the video. I'm trying to figure out what that area is. I believe that's a dam. Next quake was a 2.6, and it was followed by a 3.3. The 3.3 was over here in the Cook Strait area. That's right off the tip of oh, Farewell Spit. Next quake was a 3.0. This was over here near Ocean Beach area. Next click was a 1.7, followed by 1.8, followed by a 1.8, followed by a 1.9. That was 105 kilometers in depth. And this is back over here on the other side. Is that topo? Yeah, topo area. Next quake was a 2.1, and it was followed by a 1.9 that was 70 kilometers in depth, which is off the end of the North Island. Anyways, you guys, much love. Tune into Dutch Sense for your update and forecast this evening. Thank you for joining, and much love.